was nice that you stopped by earlier this week when Jennifer was here. Of course. Uh, nice surprise. I got number two, though. Yeah. I'm still waiting <laughs> for number one. <laughs> yeah, there. You and Jennifer looked really great at the Golden Globes, and before I realized that, that you know, you and the movie and whatnot, um, I, I didn't put it all together. I just said, oh my gosh, she's picked up another young man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there we are. You look couple-ish, and then, you know, we follow her on Instagram, and your pictures are everywhere. Yeah. Uh, but she told us that you guys aren't dating, although you did do the um, audition at her House. mansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Sabrina Soto from my Hot Talk panel, Sabrina goes to me, oh my gosh, he's here today. <laughs> and so I said, yeah. He said, I f she says, I follow J-Lo on Instagram and I swear they're dating. I said, no, she said that they aren't dating. Like, I believe that you're not yeah, dating. Yeah, yeah. But she said, no, yes, yes, they are. Look at her Instagram. <laughs> Everybody has it in their head, yeah, for sure, that we're dating. But no, we're not dating. Well, I mean, then she's... why are you looking down there? <laughs> 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 we're not dating. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so you auditioned at her house. Yeah. Um, which I, you know, I, I found odd because you know you could be the killer. Yeah. And if you don't get the job, then you'll know where to go back and kill. I don't. I won't be doing any more killing. Well, I no, I you got you system. got the job, yeah. so now you don't have to kill. Yeah. No, but what no. about the other guys who auditioned? The other 150 guys. I didn't know there was 150 guys that went out for my spot. I know. Yeah. So when you went, how many guys were there? Uh, there was only one guy, I think. And now, do you wait out in, on the motor court, double parked, and go in the house one at a time? <laughs> no, actually, we, we went to the house, and it was a huge, it's, it's a mansion. Yes. It's, it's massive. Uh, but we went into her theater. Yeah, she has a massive theater, kind of like half the size of this. It's, yes. it's huge. And now, uh, you entered through the theater door, or you had to walk through the kitchen and the foyer. And yeah, the yeah, room. yeah. Wow. Past the security guard, the dog. No, no, no. Uh, what did you? Where'd you enter? The front door? Yeah, the front door. She let me in. Uh, it was really. You what'd know, you say? What? Did, what'd you say? It's a code, code word blue. Let me in. Let me in. They let me in. Um, I saw everything. I saw. I, I went to the bathroom. What uh, was in there? <laughs> Uh, it was a beautiful bathroom, I yeah. don't know. Did you open the medicine cabinet? Uh, no, I wasn't that creepy. Did you look under the sink? N uh, no, I, I used the towel, that's about it. Damn it, man! <laughs> well, look. Yeah. Um, so you got the job. Yes. And now, we would never heard of you before this, mm -hmm. unless I'm overlooking something. Uh, I was on a couple films, Step Up Revolution, All In, Pretty Little Liars. Oh, okay, films. okay. Yeah. Uh, where were you last year for the Golden Globes? Because this year you were on Jennifer's Arm, but where were you last year for them? I was in my tiny little apartment on my couch watching the Golden Globes, wishing that I could be there. Yeah. Well, good for you. You see yeah. how fast things change in life? So you guys had a particularly very se uh, sexy love scene in the movie. Um, this, I mean, it's just... Have you ever done a, a sex scene before? I've never done a sex, not like that, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Now, I know generally speaking, when people do sex scenes, they, they make it a closed set. Yeah. So it's like a, the cameraman, and did they make it a closed set for you, or everybody was? Well, they made it a closed set more for Jennifer, yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, it was kind of like, just deal with it, dude. Yes. Yeah, so they, they gave me a tiny little sock. It was like, you know, this little thing, and they, they said, put that on and, and go out there and do your scene. And, uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I cannot wait to see this movie myself. It, you know, th I love movies like this, you know? It just gets right to the point. So you play a, 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 a high school kid. Yeah. And tell the rest of how you become involved. Yeah, pretty much I, I come to the next door, living next door to Jennifer's character, and uh, I kind of weasel my way into her life. By, by befriending. By befriending her son, mm -hmm. and then finding out that she actually teaches at this high school. And I'm, I'm a 19-year-old that's been held back because his family has passed away and he right. had all these problems. And uh, he, he weasels himself into her classroom and then into her bedroom. And, and then, then you become obsessed. Become obsessed. And then uh, pretty much everybody else just becomes collateral damage. You okay. Know. This is our kind of movie, everybody. Yeah. All right. So, Ryan, it was very nice to meet you. Congratulations Thank on your you big so breakout much. role. We got you something to remember your role. Um, and here it is. Wait, you gotta get the rest of the joke. Wait, look at this, look, look. <laughs> it's Ryan Guzman, everybody. The Boy Next Door hits theaters today.